in this session, I'm going to show you how to create virtual hard disk in Windows Server 2012 and mount the virtual hard disk. First thing we need to do is to go into computer management. So we click on tools, computer management. In computer management, we need to click on disk management. We want to right click on this management and then click on create VHD. For the location, we want to specify where we want that location to be. So I'm going to click on browse. I'm going to go into my E drive and I'm going to click on Antigua VHD folder because that's the folder where I want to store my VHD disk. Then I'm going to click open. I need now to give the name of the VHD, whatever name you're going to give your VHD disk, you need to type it here. I'm going to call this VHD class C L A -S -S V H D. Then I'm going to click on save. You can see here now the path of the VHD of the virtual disk. It is in the Antigua VHD folder, and the name of the virtual disk is Class VHD. The next thing that I want to do here is to say the size of the disk. And for our example, we're just going to use 500 for the size of the disk. Then we have a choice here for our disk format, either VHD or VHDX. And let's look again at the differences between VHD and VHDX. The, for VHD, this type of disk supports only up to two gig in size. VHDX will support a much larger disk so the disk should be larger than 2 gig in size. You have a maximum of 64 terabytes. And the VHD virtual disk is resilient to power failure events. One thing that you must always remember, this VHD format is not supported in operating systems earlier than Windows Server 2012 R2. For our choice, we're going to click on the VHDX. Next, you also have a choice about the virtual hard disk type. You have to, you can choose between fixed and dynamic. And the difference here is that if you choose fixed, then you're going to be allocated the maximum size of that disk when the virtual disk is created. So if your disk was a 500 gig disk and you click on fix, then that virtual hard disk will be the maximum size if that's what you want for your disk. If you want the virtual disk to be 500 gig, that will be the maximum size. On the other hand, you might want to choose dynamic where the size of the disk grows or the space in the disk will grow according to what is stored on the disk. So the hard disk file will grow to its maximum size as the data is being written. So it starts off with one size and then as you write data to that disk, the size will grow to whatever is the maximum size. So we want to click OK at this point. We're going to leave it at dynamic and we want to go ahead and click OK at this point. And we can see here that we have the disk 500 megabytes, 500 megabytes unallocated. 
it's not initialized and we know that we need to initialize a disk once we install that disk so we want to right click on the disk and say initialize disk and here again you get to choose between the partition styles and we looked at that in our last video we're going to leave it at gpt but i just want you to note and remember what we said about the gpt disk about the gpt partition rather that it is not recognized by previous versions of windows we want to go ahead and click ok here And you're going to see now that your disk is online and ready to go. What you will need to do now is to create partitions on this disk. Remember to create partitions, you go to the unallocated space, you right click, and you can do a simple volume on this basic disk. Remember that in order to create the spanned volume, the stripe volume, mirror or raid, and the, and the mirror and the raid here are fault tolerant, whereas the stripe and the span not so much fault tolerant. Uh, so if we wanted to create span or stripe, we will have to convert this basic disk to dynamic. And for the span, you would want to have more than one disk. As I'm going to have five, with the span and the stripe, you could go up to 32 disks, where you're going to take space from each of the disks when it's dynamic to create a volume. That is the end of this session. Thank you for listening.